Hello everybody, welcome back to the B-Town Bible Reboot and today's question is, what is Abraham's bosom? Abraham's bosom was a promise. See, uh, King David wrote in Psalm 16 verse 10, For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. And you can say, David, David would have went straight to heaven. Because David, it says in the Bible, he was a man after God's own heart. He killed Goliath and became a king. He did all these wonderful things. Then he would say, for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. That doesn't really seem like it comes together. But we have to realize this. Until Jesus Christ made a sacrifice, no man could enter into the presence of God. No one could do this because no one was worthy. But when he died, he, he tore the veil and he gave us an entrance. But we don't want to get too far ahead because he tells this story about Lazarus and a rich man. And uh, Lazarus was a very poor man. He was a beggar. But there was a rich man who, who just enjoyed the wealth on this earth. He was so happy on this earth. But then they both died. And he looks over and this rich man, he begins to suffer. And, but he sees Lazarus and it says he was comforted. In Abraham's bosom and the rich man is he begins to cry out and he said maybe he could just come over here and give me some water and they said no there's a great gulf between you two uh, you're in a place of suffering because you didn't really believe in God you didn't help you didn't love God you didn't love your fellow man and uh, Lazarus as he's comforted this rich man says well let me go back May, let me go back to earth for a while and I'll warn my friends and my neighbors they said, well, if they don't listen to the prophets or anything like that, they definitely won't listen to a man who comes back from the dead. But we're looking at Abraham's bosom, and it was a place of rest. It was a place of promise, because they knew, even when I die, I'm waiting, because there is a promise of a, of a redeemer who will come and rescue us. Joseph and Job, they both say something interesting. Joseph, I always really liked. He's a great hero in the Bible. But when he dies, he says a little something. He says, do not leave my bones in Egypt. Because remember, he was taken as a slave into Egypt, and he rose to great power. But he said, when they bury me, when you come out of here, God will visit his people. He will bring you out. Take me with you, even though it's just my bones. And uh, Job, he said, uh, I know that my Redeemer lives. Well, Jesus was alive at the time. But he looked at a promise. He knew someday there will come a redeemer to save us all. And then if we read in Matthew chapter 27, verses 52 to 54, it talks about the moment Jesus died, the veil was rent in the temple. But then it says, the Old Testament saints, hey, they came out of the grave and they took their bodies. And uh, it was the fulfillment of that promise. And uh, that is the, really the story of Abraham's bosom. It was, a, it was a, it's a story of a promise given to Abraham that through him all nations would be blessed, that they can be saved. Through his line, Jesus would come forth, and he would save all of mankind and give us the entrance, the ticket to heaven. So I pray that we all make the right decision. Because when you look at the story of Abraham's bosom and Lazarus and the rich man, Hey, the rich man, he had a lot on this earth. But the Bible tells us this life is but a vapor. Very soon it will be gone. And there is nothing in this world that you will take with you except that promise that when I die, I will stand before God and he can either say, well done, or depart from me. So I hope we all make the right decision. God bless you. I hope to see you again.